uh, today uh, i'll be uh, creating this bubble chart in power bi so basically this is life expectancy versus income and it's show, shown over country so if you have over any one particular bubble so it will give you the name of the country and the life expectancy income and population so if uh, if you want to uh, uh, make it with me you can open your power bi Yeah, so first we'll get the data. So I have taken this data from uh, data dot world. We'll connect with this connector. So for the Yeah, so we'll take these four tables from the data and we'll transform the data. Uh, yeah, so for the ease of use, we'll change the name of the. Table, and we can see that uh, here in the columns we have year, and in the rows we have population. Uh, population. So we'll uncover this column. So in one column we'll get the year, and in one column we'll get the population. Same will do for life expectancy. So on the columns we have years, and on the rows we have the life expectancy. So we'll answer the other columns. for this table basically a bubble chart is a scatter chart but it, uh, the size of the the uh, circle is different based on what we are assigning to the size is there any doubt up to this point Pull the scatter chart from the visualization. And on the uh, x axis, we want pop, uh, income. So on the x axis, we put income. And on the y axis, we want life, life expectancy. So on the life. Now we want this chart over the countries. Uh, so we will put in the details. We will put the country name. So in the country section, we have to name column. So it will go here. And in the legend, uh, so we will put the region. So 
with World Bank region, it will get the regions all over the globe. Now we uh, we did this that there is a blank also in our uh, visualization, so we will remove the blank. For this, we drag this here and remove the blank. Now uh, we want this data. Uh, uh, so we want this data for different years. So as we can see, we have year in every column, uh, in every table. So, right. We have a year here also, and here also, and here also. So we have to create another uh, table, or we can we have to create another uh, uh, like uh, year. Table because uh, otherwise we will have to connect all, uh, all these uh, years and if we use any years from these tables it might not filter another one so we will have to uh, do the transform data and basically there are many methods for creating the uh, date table but here what we are doing that since we have year in every table almost every table and the data is not changing means uh, for the past year and for the current year, the data won't change and the year will remain constant. So what we can do is we can duplicate this table and remove other columns because we want a year per row. So it will work here. So we'll just remove other columns and we'll remove the duplicates of this. So we'll get. So we will remove the duplicate from this column. So basically this will give us year per row and we can use this in our visualization for filtering our table. Anushriki, just a small question. Why not we use the year that's already there in the life expectancy or the in, uh, the other income table? Uh, because uh, these, uh, uh, these tables are different. Uh, so if we use uh, it in our visualization, so it might not filter the other tables. Achha, okay. Even if they are the, okay, even if we have some sort of a relationship between those two tables, it will not work. Huh? Is to that question basically, uh, if you go to relations, so all the relations are based on country name as of now. Okay, okay, so here is a repeating, uh, repeating feed. Okay, so even if there's a connection, we are uh, we are not sure whether the year connection would be uh, correct or not. If we take any one table, okay, okay, so and this new year table will, will make a connection of this new year table with all the table based on year only. So that will give a correct, uh, understood, uh, understood, understood, got it. Okay. Quick question over here, like uh, you know, uh, we didn't create any connections, right? It just uh, yeah, it took it by itself. Yeah. Yeah. So in Power BI, there's a option. Uh, basically, there's a setting. So if you switch, uh, keep that uh, setting on, Power BI will automatically uh, read all the tables. And if the column name and the value of the values are same, Power BI will create a connection by itself. Okay. Just I'll change the name of that table. We'll make the connection here. Yeah. So uh, basically, it uh, since uh, it auto detected the connection, uh, but uh, we can make it here by ourselves also. Like for the country, we'll make it with the name. And with the year itself. Yeah, 
so now our uh, all the tables are connected with each other so we can uh, now we can pull this we put this here into our play axis Yeah. So since it uh, projecting the value since uh, uh, let uh, since it's twenty forty, so we'll just make it till twenty twenty one. So since we don't want to uh, like we don't want to uh, over project our value, so we'll make it up to twenty twenty one. Uh, this year is uh, we have to change this year from a text to a whole number because it's not showing the desired. Uh, yeah, since this year is in text, so we have to change it into whole and whole number. So we'll again go to the transform data and. Just change it from uh, text to whole number. Yeah. So any doubts still here? Uh, if if you see this particular year table is having a uh, data type as whole number, right, and rest all is in text. Yeah. So will that create an issue uh, while you know uh, while we are managing our data links, data relationships? Right? Uh, so. Uh, 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 I don't have this. Means uh, we have created the relationship between the uh, table, so I don't think the uh, type matters here. Yes. Ah, uh, see, uh, in this scenario, it won't matter because the values are exactly the same. Uh, let's say if it's a calculated column, and then you have changed the uh, type of the column or formula of the column, uh, the relation will break itself. So if you go to relation pane, uh, there won't be any relation which you have built. This is a uh, basically we have created this column instead of DAX from uh, DAX from Power Query, so the relation will maintain. Okay. So that means like we can even have a relation between different data types. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it should be simple. Basically, uh, let's say text and uh, numerical uh, can be a normal relation, but yeah, it prefer that we should have a, a similar data type. So right now, because this is a, a field coming from the data for Power BI, it's coming from Power Query. So that's why it has kept the relationship. But if you have used, let's say, distinct column in the DAX that have given you this table, and then you have changed it, your relationship in the uh, Power BI would have broken. Broken, sorry. Okay. So basically, this is the scatter plot. Now, to make it a bubble chart, we need to change the sizes of these uh, points or dots. We can say. So uh, we'll change. We'll uh, the size here depends upon the population. So since the uh, we'll go to the population and we'll create a measure. Since this population is uh, a huge number, so we'll create a measure and convert it into millions. We will use divide function and we will take the sum of population and we will divide it by one million. Yes. And if uh, any uh, error shows, so we will uh, assign it. Add this size.
yeah so to, like this we have got the bubble chart so uh, if we can have one point so we can see in the tool tip it's giving everything like the united states north america and income life expectancy the life expectancy population in here and we don't need such type of tool tip so we'll go to another sheet and in the uh, page information we'll give it a name as okay and we'll on this and in the page size we'll uh, make it a tool tip now we'll uh, insert a card insert a card and we'll give it the name we go in the format option and what is and we'll switch up the category and we'll give it the size And then we will insert a multi-level card, and then uh, whatever information we need, like income uh, and life expectancy and population. Okay. So now we'll go to our uh, main uh, dashboard again, main table, and. In here, we'll go to the tool tip, and in the page, we'll the tool tip. Yeah. So now, if we have any point, so it will give uh, the tool tip that we have created. Like for this, we can get the United States and income. Whichever like whichever tool tip we want to give to the chart, yeah. Any doubts or questions? No, all good from my side. Can you click on the play button? Yeah, yeah. It will give you from inception till now, na? No? Yeah. Out of curiosity, can we still see the tooltip while it's running? No, I tried actually. Yeah, yeah, we can see. But if it's very, very much in motion, we can't. Uh, you can see the tooltip, but by the time tooltip would load, uh, yeah, the change, uh, the point will change. Which is this country you're running out? This is everything is still new. Oil money. Um, all these, all these wilder countries are of the Saudi side. Nineteen sixty, so. Yeah. Nineteen sixty. Nineteen sixty. Which is that country? Dubai <laughs> side. Qatar. Cha. Their currency is the richest currency, I believe, right? Dinar or something. Yeah. India is just here only to start. <laughs> it will remain here only. It is in India. Will we high on population? Thank you.